October 23, 1993, the sixth game in the Toronto Blue Jays Philadelphia Phillies World Series was a rematch between Game 2 starters Terry Mulholland and Dave Stewart. Toronto scored in the bottom of the first on a Paul Molitor triple, Joe Carter sacrifice fly, and Roberto Alomar RBI single. Paul Molitor added a solo home run in the fifth inning while the Toronto fans were chanting MVP for Paul, bringing the score to 5 to 1 for Toronto. Ultimately, Molitor became the first player in World Series history to have at least two home runs, two doubles, and two triples. In the seventh inning, Philadelphia fought back with five runs to take a 6-5 lead. The big hit of the inning was a Lenny Dykstra three-run homer. The inning brought an end to Stewart's night, leaving the game with six innings pitched and four runs given up. Philadelphia closer Mitch Wild Thing Williams came on to pitch in the bottom of the ninth with his team clinging to a 6-5 lead. After beginning the inning by walking Ricky Henderson, Williams tried to counter Henderson's speed by using a slide step pitching delivery. This was the first time in his career he used the slide step and his pitch speed may have decreased as a result. The walk to Henderson was followed by a Devon White flyout and Paul Molitor would single, moving Henderson to second. Joe Carter came up next and with the count 2-2, he hit a three-run home run to win the game and the World Series crown. That pitch allowed Blue Jays radio announcer Tom Cheek the opportunity to utter his famous quote, touch them all, Joe, when Joe Carter ended the series. Carter joined Bill Mazeroski as one of the only two players to win a World Series with a home run in the bottom of the ninth inning of the deciding game. That was October 23rd, This Day in Baseball.